heaven. That's me. I'm Angela, Princess of Altana. I'm Charlotte, resident beauty of Wendell. Persecuted by humankind, beastmen were forced to live a life of seclusion in the dark woods of Duskmoon Forest. Only one managed to stand up against the oppression. He became king. Under his rule, the beastmen banded together and created the kingdom of Ferolia. There, he and his kin waited for a chance to get revenge on the humans who drove them into hiding. <laughs> well, 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 it isn't his furry majesty himself. How do you do this fine, fine night? <sighs> Finally! The time is upon us, sire! With the coming shift in the world's mana power, now's the perfect opportunity. For what? For us! All to get back at those nasty humans! <laughs> Do I know you? Oh, how silly of me! They call me Gormond, Death Devourer. Our goals are the same, for I hate humankind as much as you do. May I offer you some unsolicited help? Tch. Outsiders and help are unwelcome. Be gone! <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'll leave, but if you change your mind, my dark spell are always at your service. <laughs> Wait. I'll give you one chance. Oh, I shan't waste it. Now then, tell me what you would have me do and consider it done. Your majesty. <laughs> Kevin was the one and only son of Ferolia's king. The young boy's human mother had long since abandoned her half-blood child, leaving him to be raised in the forest by the Beastmen. Due to his Spartan upbringing, Kevin never connected with others. He was raised as his father's successor and trained to fight from infancy, leaving little time for friendships. One night, the young prince came across a slain mother wolf and her living pup, Carl. Finding a true friend in the affectionate wolf, the boy's frozen heart began to thaw. <laughs> hey, sleep good? Huh? Carl? What's that yip, Carl? Tiny, but still a wolf. Don't bark like a dog. Here, howl. Like this. Uh, 
we're alike. You and me. A little wolf who acts like a dog. A beast man with human blood in my veins. And neither of us have a mom. Don't worry. Carl, got you. And I'll protect you, since your mom can't now. Carl, what's wrong? No, Carl. Can't fight you. Won't fight you. doing Carl stop body's moving on its own No! 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 Carl! Carl! How did this happen? Unable to resist his beast man instincts, the boy transformed and attacked his only friend. Kevin made a grave by the flower patch they'd often visited. Racked with guilt, there he wept for his lost friend. So... So sorry, Carl. I'm sorry. Afterwards, Kevin didn't know how long he wandered the forest. Eventually, however, he made it back to the palace. But nothing was the same. Carl. Couldn't protect my friend. I couldn't stop myself. Beast man blood. Awakened. Why did I transform? Why? Why now? King might know something.
By order of the king, the Beastmen forces are hereby sent out to take over human settlements. Our first target is the holy city, Wendell. Yes, sir. Now's our chance to pay back the humans for what they've done. Once we take their precious holy city, we'll have already dealt a serious blow to those weaklings. They'll be shaking in their boots! Yeah! <laughs> Listen up, Kevin. We'll be taking Jad, then it's straight to Wendell. You hear that, Princeling? <laughs> Your old man picked me to lead the Beastmen to victory. He trusts me with his invasion plan, not you. How does it feel to be a waste of space, huh? <laughs> hear something through the wall. I know that voice. Hmm. Well done, Cormand. <laughs> it's an honor to fulfill the wishes of the king. Tell me, were you impressed by my dark magic then? <laughs> Corrupting the will of a tiny pup to attack my son is child's play. No matter. It induced Kevin's transformation as planned. With no more attachments to keep him from training, my son will become a weapon. I have no more need of you. Leave. Wait, what? Uh, uh, be reasonable, your majesty. Ah, he 
dads. He just... Stop right there, Howard! Yes. Use that hatred I see in your eye. Bend it to your will, and let it fuel your beastman power. <laughs> Never lose it! Foolish boy, know your place! You called yourself Death Devourer, did you not? Oh, yes indeed, your majesty. <laughs> I leave my son to you. Understood, sire. Majesty, the King of Ferolia's orders. Ah, ah, wait, 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 wait. I've come to you with an offer. Wouldn't you like to know how to bring your little Carl back to life? Huh? Shh, listen. Ferolian forces are on their way to Window as we speak. You need to find the Priest of Light who lives there. Why? Because he knows how to bring back the dead. You lie! Oh, now does this look like the face of a liar? You cannot wait! Ludger's guards have already left. If you dally, they may do away with the priest before you arrive. Where's Wendell? Where? Way, your Highness. Now, you must make for Mintus. It's just outside the Dusk Moon Forest. And from there, you can cross the sea to the city of Jad. Wimble is quite close to that location. Hmm? So don't dog or Ludger will have complete control of Windle before you even arrive. Understand? Try to stay out of his sight. Okay? 
In fact, I shouldn't be seen here with you either. I'll take my leave. Goodbye and good luck, young prince. Carl. Wait for me. Priest of Light and Wendell will tell me how to bring you back. Still my best friend. Carl. That coward is no father. He must be the reason. Mom left me behind. Is she... alive? I want... to see her. Kevin burned with hatred for his father, and shame for the feral blood in his veins that made him deliver the final misguided blow to his only friend. As the Ferolian troops left the castle, the young prince was hot on their heels. He had to get to Wendell, and ask the Priest of Light to bring Carl back to life. Chad? <laughs> Belongs to Ferolia. Don't resist, and we may spare you. <clears throat> Ferolian forces have taken the town and closed the docks. Now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when. Too many guards. Can't let Beastman find me. But I have to go to Wendell. For Carl.
there! <laughs> Where'd they go? Was that... Kevin? Uh, must be seeing things. Close one. Beastmen of Ferolia look like humans during the day, but at night, they transform into animals. Don't leave the house after dark, you hear? Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Once the Beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. Good luck. Wait for night. Sleep at the inn until then. Just wish our guards weren't the ones causing trouble.
through. What is this? Better find another way in. No one believes me, but I saw it. A strange light was floating over the lake. Maybe it'll appear tonight, too. What the? A light? What? Flying light? What was it? Never seen anything like that. Where did it go?
You... alive? From Ferolia. Saw the light. I see. Oh, I have no other option. So I suppose you'll do. Hold on. W what? Oh, never mind. I'll tell you later. Please. I need you to take me to the Priest of Light and Wendell. Hmm. I can't fly any further on my own. Fine by me. Going to Wendell too. But... Cascade Cavern. Can't get through right now. I can get us through the barrier. But we need to hurry. Something has happened to the Sanctuary of Mana. The Sanctuary of Mana? Wait. What happened? Was it... Astoria? Gotta go back. Oh, we need to get going. Let me rest inside you for a bit. You won't see me, but don't worry. I'm still here. Oh, oh, wait, wait. What? Don't delay. We must see to Astoria. Ah, she's... In my head? Ah! Hurry! Ah. On it! So, why are you heading to Wendell? Priest of Light can save Carl. Bring him back. Well, I see you haven't had an easy time yourself. <laughs> 